pigeons and the poop they leave behind has cost one valley community tens of thousands of dollars. But homeowners who say that they were each told to pay hundreds out of pocket to clean up the problem say this is a case for Contact 13's HOA Hall of Shame. Here's Chief Investigator Darcy Spears. Meet public enemy number one or at least who the 5th and Farm HOA considers most wanted, dead or alive. This was Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. I, it was pretty close. That's according to RMI, who manages 5th and Farm. But ask homeowner Scott Venesey. Yeah, we couldn't see a pigeon problem. All 343 homes in 5th and Farm got this letter in the spring. It says RMI had hired Nevada Pigeon Control to help alleviate the overpopulation of pigeons in the area. So just how far did the HOA go to peer into the neighborhood pigeon problem? They actually used one of these, a boom truck, to peer over rooftops, even into people's backyards. Each house found to have a poop problem was assigned a dollar amount based on size and severity, either 210 or 330 bucks per homeowner for Nevada Pigeon Control to clear loose droppings, pressure wash the home from top to bottom and decontaminate it. So I called all over my and I said, well, basically, what is it? You know, okay, what if I don't do it? And they go, well, you're in violation. In fact, after he didn't pay, he got this violation notice for unsightly items. Unsightly from the ground or unsightly if you're up in a boom truck? Uh, both. In some cases, um, you're, you're, you're more than able to see it from the street. Because of the violation notice and the threat of fines, Scott says he felt pressure to pay up. In the beginning, I just paid, and a lot of the people paid just to get them off their back, okay? RMI told us it's pretty clear why pigeons are playing house here. Uh, we're right next to a pig farm here, which tends to attract pigeons, and uh, that, that, you know, makes the problem worse. Nevada Pigeon Control posted this YouTube video last fall, calling it the worst pigeon problem they've ever seen in the valley and a problem they said would cost between sixty and ninety thousand dollars to fix. Yes, that's when I started to uh, get red flags. Nevada Pigeon Control says they've euthanized more than fifteen hundred pigeons since taking the project on, partially by, get this, putting out food to attract them. But Scott, who's usually home during the day, never noticed flocks like the one featured in this video. And as for that boom truck, there are lines and they crossed it. If you have to get that high to see the violation, is it really that big a problem? Well, the problem with pigeon feces is that they attract other pigeons. And so you can't eradicate a pigeon problem until you've cleaned up the mess. RMI says some residents are still not in compliance, like this home with white streaks under the roof overhang, and this one with a drip right above the garage. Other homes like Scott's don't have a drop of poop on them. So what did the roofs look like when Nevada Pigeon Control became an eye in the sky? Okay, and you guys would be able to show us like a photo library of every roof. Um, I don't know that we'd have the entire library, but uh, we definitely could provide evidence, yes. Turns out they couldn't, not one shot. After our interview, RMI admitted they had no photos of Scott's house and couldn't show us others for privacy reasons. We wondered how much they considered privacy when Nevada Pigeon Control came through the community on this. What did you do to notify homeowners to close their blinds or their drapes or not be in their backyards because there was someone on a boom truck peeping tomming their house? So we did send out notice to homeowners by way of a newsletter letting them know that Nevada Pigeon Control would be coming by. They gave us the newsletter, but it says nothing about that boom. Still, they maintain they went about this the right way, even giving homeowners an out to avoid the cost and do the cleanup themselves. You mean like if they wanted to get up on their own roof with a scrub brush kind of a thing? Yeah, or a hose or a power washer. That's an option Scott says he wasn't given. So you believe without question that this belongs in our HOA Hall of Shame? Oh, absolutely, yes. Nevada Pigeon Control says they're out in the community every week looking for more signs of poop, and people feeding the birds. RMI says the pigeons seem to have skipped some homes, so not everyone has a poop problem. Of the homeowners who've been told to pay, only half chose to participate in the cleanup. They haven't been fined yet, but RMI says it could indeed come to that. Darcy Spears, Channel 13, Action News.